And now from our studios in downtown Winnipeg, it's time for 107 Live. Today, the Manitoba Band Association's longest-running initiative, the Solo and Ensemble Festival, takes place at Bethel Mennonite Church. A 10-minute non-competitive performance opportunity with adjudication for soloists and small groups. This morning, I'm joined by grade 11 Sturgeon Heights collegiate clarinetist Kara Heckford for a 107 Live performance. Take it away, Kara. <laughs> Live on Morning Light. That was the playing of, of Kara Hackford. Kara, that, that was great. What did we just hear? Okay, so you heard the first movement of Gordon Jacobs' Five Pieces for Clarinets, which was called the Preamble. Oh, wow. Uh, Gordon Jacob, 20th century composer. Not not an easy play, is it? No, it's very hard on the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Um, so I want to begin by asking you about your instrument. H- how long have you been playing the clarinet? So currently, this is my fifth year of playing the clarinet. And, and so did you start through the band program uh, or did, did somebody just kind of hand you a clarinet one day or is it an instrument that, that, that you found? No, I started through the band program despite me always wanting to play the clarinet ever since I heard that there would be band in the seventh grade. What, what, what about the clarinet drew you to the instrument? Oh my gosh, it's a crazy story. So when I was in the third grade, we had our typical Winnipeg Symphony field trip. And I heard this clarinet solo. I forgot what the piece is. Oh my gosh, I wish I knew what it was. But I told my music teacher I wanted to play the clarinet. And I don't remember exactly what she said, but she said something on the long, along the lines of, you're not really strong at music. Oh, no. I know. And here you are, all those years later, playing the clarinet for five years now and, and doing it very, very well. Uh, not an easy play, to say the least, that the music of Gordon Jacob. Um, I, I'm curious, uh, so you, you were saying it's one of those instruments that, that you picked up through the band program. You've been playing for five years. D- do you study with anyone beyond the band program at, at Sturgeon Heights? Yeah, I study with private teacher Meg Specht. Shout out to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that, that's fantastic. So obviously you are very, very passionate about the clarinet. Uh, I'm curious, what type of music do you, do you perform? Because I, I understand you're in the, the band program at Sturgeon Heights Collegiate, but also you play with a couple other ensembles as well in the city, right? Yes, I do. I play with the Winnipeg Youth Symphony Orchestra. I also play with the University of Manitoba Concert Band, which I'm actually the youngest member of. And I also play with the Winnipeg Pops Orchestra, which, again, I'm also the youngest member of. Yeah, let's not forget you're a grade 11 student, <laughs> as, and you're, you're, you're really uh, uh, making your presence felt in, in the music community here in town. Um, so, I mean, how, how does it feel to be the youngest member of, of, of some of those ensembles? At first, it's really intimidating, but honestly, the people in those ensembles, they just make you feel like you're one of them. Like... You're not the odd one out. Yeah, you're all there for the same reasons. You just make some some beautiful music, right? Yeah, we all love the same things, so we uh, all connect with each other. <laughs> so I, I, I want to jump back to the, the Sturgeon Heights Band program. Are, are there a lot of you in, in the program? Oh my gosh, my grade 11 band? Well, I mean, the symphonic bands 
is grade 11s and 12s combined, which I'm a part of. But there are only nine 11th graders in that band. Oh, wow. So last year when I was in the 10th grade for 10th grade band, it was a really, really small band. Yeah, ain't that the truth? But, but does that make you almost tighter as an ensemble, though? Like, does it does it change the repertoire that you guys get to play? It depends. I feel like the atmosphere in band class is different than sort of outside ensembles where everybody's passionate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely can be. Uh, I mean, um, there there are people obviously who are there and, and want to take music to the next level, kind of like yourself. You're, you're playing outside of it. There are other people who are there to just make music while they're at school. And it's a it's a very yeah. enjoyable credit at the same time. Um, so you're here ahead of your performance with the Manitoba Band Association Solo on Ensemble Festival. Do you know, is anyone else from, from Sturgeon Heights participating today? No, it appears I'm the only one. I was looking through the list and hoping that I would find someone I know doing it, but there nobody. Yeah, but you're you're gung ho <laughs> nonetheless. How how are you feeling about your performance today? I'm feeling like I'm in a pretty good spot right now. Have you participated in the the festival before the solo and ensemble festival? No, this is actually my very first festival experience because I've never had the opportunity or the chance to get to be able to perform in something like this. So this is very exciting for me. Oh, ain't also that the truth? Nervous. I was going to say, yeah, are you, are, you feeling, are you feeling nervous at all? Yeah, I'm kind of shaky. It's like you have to try and control your shaky fingers as best as you can. Uh, I, I, I played clarinet for grade seven, and that was it. It was only grade seven. That's all, that's all I have, Kara. I, I didn't make it very far, I have to, I have to admit. But, oh, my gosh. But I, I did do a lot of festival singing and, and playing. Uh, and, and yes, you're right. It is a little bit nerve wracking. You got you to gotta steady the hands. But at the same time, this particular festival experience is a great one to get into because it, it's non-competitive. You, you get to play 10 minutes. You get a, an adjudication, um, a verbal adjudication, a little bit of a work through. Um, that's got to be really rewarding for you as, as a young player, right? It is. Yeah, and you have the support of everybody out there uh, listening to you. Um, what time are you? What time is your 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 performance today? Uh, my performance is at twelve twenty. Nice, nice. So you got a little bit of time yet. Uh, what will you be performing? I will be performing, of course, the first movement of Gordon Jacob. Yeah, the preamble and, we just heard. Yeah, and the waltz, which is a more lively resolution type piece to the sort of atonal first music. Ugh. First movement. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I, I definitely get that. So, um, uh, you, you've been kind enough to not play one, but two pieces of music. We're gonna hear that second part now to close out this interview. Um, Kara, I, I just want to thank you so much for coming by the studio this morning. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's really exciting that I even got the chance to show up here. <laughs> and well, as soon as I found out that I got this interview, I got. <laughs> like I just jumped down my seat. I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, your energy is infectious to say the least, Kara. Aww, thank you. And uh, <laughs> let, let, let's hear that waltz then. Let's uh, dance us through one more performance. Sure thing. <laughs> Live on Morning Light, you just heard the playing of grade 11 clarinetist Kara Heckford ahead of her performance today in the noon hour at the Manitoba Band Association's Solo and Ensemble Festival. For more information, visit mbband.org or classic107.com. Kara, thanks again for being here this morning. Again, thank you so much for having me. From our studios in downtown Winnipeg, you've been listening to 107 Live, Classic 107's Intimate Concert Series, the soundtrack for your life.